Hey guys, so today's video is going to be another empties video. Without further ado, let's get on into this empties video. The first thing that I have here is a candle, and this is the Sun Drenched Vineyard Candle by Bath and Body Works. This is a spring scent, so I don't think they have this out right now. It just smells very fresh, very sweet and fruity, and yeah, I really like the packaging of this because, I don't know, it's just... I just like it, and I think it's from the Province line. Next, I have, of course, the Bior Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. Um, I always have these in one of my empties videos. They just really clear out my pores on my nose. I love these. I already repurchased it. Next, I have two deodorants, and this might be a little weird, but oh well. This is the Secret Invisible Solid Powder Fresh Deodorant. This is just a travel size. I liked it. I hate the smell of girl deodorants. They all smell like powder or they smell like too florally. When I sweat for sports, it just doesn't mix well and it just doesn't make me smell good. So um, I don't really like the smell of this. The Dove one is in the scent powder. I hated this. It smelled horrible. It smelled like way too much powder and then it just does not mix well with my body scent. Next, I have these Equate. Um, cotton swabs, they are the gentle and safe ones, and there's a 500 in here. And if you're wondering why I'm showing you these, like who cares about cotton swabs, I clean up my mascara with it. Next, I have a body wash, and it kind of looks like there's more in here, but it's just from sitting. This is the Caress Evenly Gorgeous Body Wash. Um, it smells like burnt brown sugar and carrot, carrot, it's not carrot, because I know how to say carrot. It's something, it's... It's that word right there. But carrot butter, it smells like butter, okay? So it just smells really warm and it does smell like brown sugar. I really love the scent. We repurchased the scent over and over again. The body wash is great. It has little exfoliating beads in it. Next, I have a face wash. This is the Neutrogena Naturals Purifying Pore Scrub. I've said this a bunch of times. It's like my holy grail face wash. I stopped using it and I noticed that my clogs were my clogs right in here. My pores have been getting clogged, like I can feel it, and I just don't like it. So I just repurchased a new one, and I love, love, love this so much. Next, I have Make Remover Wipes by Garnier. They're for sensitive skin, and they're fragrance-free, no alcohol. It's supposed to remove waterproof mascara, and I don't wear waterproof mascara, but I do know that it did take off my eye makeup, my face makeup really, really nicely. So, yeah, and there was 25 cowlets in it. Would we purchase? Next, I have a body butter, and this is by The Body Shop. This is in the scent Clementine, and it just smells like really strong Clementine. Like, it's really strong. I have a controversy on these because it does moisturize my skin, but I hate the residue that it leaves on my body. And then I'm, like, touching things, and I'm getting lotion all over the place. So to be honest, I wouldn't repurchase this because I don't have the driest of skin. Like... It's not like crazy dry, but I definitely do need lotion. Um, so I wouldn't repurchase it anytime soon. Next, I have a conditioner. This is by L'Oreal. This is the Ever Strong Sulfate Free um, Rosemary Conditioner. It's supposed to help with breakage. We tried different ones from L'Oreal and from the um, Ever Strong line. Um, this was good. Um, it's not the greatest conditioner I've ever used, but it was good. So I would repurchase it. Next, I have a shaving gel. This is the Woman's Shave Gel in Baby Soft. Compared to Skin to Me, I've talked about this before. It's just shaving gel. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. If it works and helps me shave, then who cares? But yeah, I would repurchase it because they're cheap, so yeah. Next, I have a shampoo by Up and Up. And this is just their Radiant Rinser Shampoo. So it's just supposed to really clarify your um, hair, but not supposed to strip it. And I liked it. It was good. It lasted a really long time because this container is huge, as you can see. So yeah. So next, I have a um, makeup product. This is the Lash Out Butterfly Mascara. And... Um, this is a great mascara. I really loved it. The wand is crazy. You guys probably heard about if you watch YouTube videos. Um, it just got dried out. It lasts a super long time. Um, this is in Black is Black, if I didn't say that already. And, um, would I repurchase it? I don't know, because I love to try out new mascaras all the time. I don't think I've ever repurchased 
a mascara before. So, like the same one. So I don't know if I'd do it anytime soon, but I definitely probably would later on in life. Next, I have a All May Soothing and Depuffing Gentle Eye Makeup Remover thing. These are just the little eye pads. I did not like these. They're for your eyes. They smelled like pure alcohol, like as if you were taking off nail polish. When you put it on your eye, you rub. You wouldn't even like go in your eye, you would just hold it there. It would start stinging my eyes and I don't have very sensitive skin or eyes. So like, I don't even know what was going on with this. I've gotten these before, they work fine. They're supposed to be oil free. Um, there's 80 in here. I just wouldn't buy this one. Next, I have a lip gloss and I mentioned this a couple months ago when the drugstores have like 75% off on certain products, you know what I'm talking about. Well, I got this, and this is from Revlon. It's their Colorstay Mineral Lip Glaze, and they actually, like, discontinue this. Um, and this is in the shade Timeless Nude. Now, as you could tell, it separated, and it wouldn't, like, even when I, like, go like this, it doesn't, like, mix well at all. It smells horrible. Oh, I can't even use it. And the color is okay. It's nothing great. I did not use it up because I think it's really old and I don't want to put that on my lips because it goes in my mouth eventually and I don't want something old and expired in my mouth. So I'm going to toss it. Next, I have a conditioner. This is the Nourishing Coconut Milk Conditioner by um, Organics and we always repurchase this. It's a really great conditioner. It smells like coconuts. Um... So yeah, I like this. I have three little travel size, um, oil-free, pure moist, um, what are these things called? Contact solution. This is by Alkin. These are great. They're just contact solution. I have this self-heating volcano mask. Um, this is the thermo purifying mask. So it's supposed to feel warm when you put it on. Um, I forget exactly where I got this from. I think I got it from like the dollar store. Um, but if you're supposed to leave it on for one minute, it was really weird. It did not show up how it did, does in the picture. Um, it didn't do anything for my skin, so I would not repurchase this. Next, I have these baby wipes, and I actually use them for to remove my makeup. These are for your face and hands, so they're fine to use on my face. They work so well. Oh my god, and they have the little, like, pop-up thing, so they're so convenient, and... 25 wipes in here. We repurchase these and I get them at Bed Bath & Beyond. I have this Living Proof Prime Style Extender. This is supposed to like put in your hair. I think it's like a gel. It didn't really do much for my hair. I would not repurchase this. Next, we have all makeup. So I have this foundation and this was also in that haul where they were, you know, 75% off, stuff like that. This is also by Revlon. And this is the Revlon Age Defying with the BNA at Advantage Cream Makeup. So it's a foundation. And um, they repackaged it, I'm pretty sure. Just looks like this. My shade is Spice Beige 30. It doesn't say anything about having to have like high definition or anything. But this foundation straight up has sparkles in it. Like, and it's separated. Can you see that? It's separated. I think it's super old because it smells horrible. Um, there's sparkles in it, and when you put it on your face, you can actually see them. I do not like this foundation, and I would never buy it. Next, I have a primer from Urban Decay. This is just a little sample. This is in Eden. It came with the Naked 3 palette. I used it all up. It was great. I love the Urban Decay primers. It was just a skin tone color, so it was basically like a matte paint pot, and I really liked it. Um, I don't know if I repurchased it anytime soon because I have so many primers to go through, but yeah. Next, I have a nail polish. This is by Sally Hansen. This is just a top coat, and this is in 170 cleared for takeoff. I absolutely loved this. It was so easy to apply. Like, the big brush just made it super simple and fast, and it made my nails last a really long time, so I would repurchase this. I have another nail polish I'm really sad dried up because I only got to use it like five times. Um, this is the Essie nail polish in Beyond Cozy. It's just like a goldish silver nail polish that's super opaque to be a shimmer. Alright, so next I have these two lip glosses, and these are by NYX. 
And these are the Mega Shine Lip Glosses in beige. This is beige and in salsa. Now, first off, I don't know why they named this beige because it's not beige. It's like a medium pink. I'm pretty sure they repackaged them. The packaging is horrible. I don't know if you could see this, but okay. So when you open the product, right, you use it, you use it, blah, blah, blah. You put it back in. The brush is too big for the opening. So then all the excess product goes up, if you can see that. And then it goes on the wand. And then once you tighten it, can you guys see this? It gets all on the outside and disgusting. And then after you keep doing that, it gets so big on the outside, super sticky. I don't know if they repackaged like the size of the wand and everything, but all I know is that it's way too messy. I used them up for as long as I could. I probably have them for over a year now, so they're probably old. So I'm gonna get rid of them anyway. The colors were fine. They're okay, lip gloss is not the best. But would I repurchase them? No, because the packaging is just terrible. Next, I have another primer. This is by e.l.f. and this is just their eyelid primer. I used this thing to the death. I scraped it, I wiped it on my eye, I did everything. It's done, it's done. I love this primer, it works so well. I put it on, put my eyeshadow on. I had sports, like after school, did sports, got home, no creasing, no nothing. My eyeshadows didn't move. I rubbed my eyes, nothing moved. Love it, it's only a dollar. Next, I have a lipstick, and I did not use this up. L'Oreal, you need to step up your game on packaging and smell. I got this when I first saw my makeup, so the color is freaking awful. Like, if you look at it like this, you're like, that's not terrible at all. It is literal pink frost, okay? And like, even when you look at it on my hand, you're like, what are you talking about, Julie? That's not pink frost. It's not even picking it up. Like, can you see? I promise you that this is awful, especially on my lips. It looks terrible. Last and final thing I have is the eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Define Line Eyeliner in black. I use this thing all the way up. I haven't had a black eyeliner in forever, so I've been working on my browns and a couple like fun colors. Um, but I miss it. I miss it, but I really want to use up some of my eyeliners first before I get a black. Um, but this is a great eyeliner. It is in soft black, so it's not like the darkest black possible. Love it. They sell it still. Um, it does smudge a little bit on the lower lash line. Like, it's not smudge proof, but it's great and good for the price. So, I would repurchase it. That is it for my empties video. Um, I know I had a lot of stuff. I tried to run through it a little fast. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram, JuliaBella underscore. Twitter, JuliaBella17. Please don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys so much. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Whoosh.